All right, well, as that winter weather rolls in, freezing temperatures can cause some major problems when it comes to power lines. Joining us now is Rob Rodell with the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Rob. So can you just kind of fill us in on what, what are you guys seeing right now as far, far as uh, outages across the state? Yes, Ashley, first of all, thank you for letting us uh, be, 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 on, be on the air this morning. Uh, Woodruff Electric over near Four City had about 2,700 outages early this morning, and they've already been able to restore approximately uh, 2,300 of those outages. We expect the uh, the next round of storms, it could ice could accumulate on power lines, which as you just said on the air a second ago, can create tremendous weight on the power lines. And in the event that that happens, the poles can actually snap, which creates havoc for everyone. Yeah, so is there anything that your crews can do ahead of the, the icy weather to prepare? Unfortunately, with a situation like this with ice, we simply have to wait until Mother Nature's through and and then see what she's dealt us. Then we have to react. We, you know, we always... Uh, we always uh, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best in these situations. And unfortunately, that's where we're sitting today. We do have crews on alert. We do have crews in parts of the state that are not impacted. They are prepared to dispatch as quickly as possible in the event that there are major outages. Yeah, and we haven't seen those conditions here in central Arkansas yet, but is there anything that homeowners can try to do to try to make sure you know their power doesn't go out? Not really. Um, if you're, you know, you're pretty much like me. I'm sitting at my house, and I'm waiting to see what happens. That's pretty much what you have to do. The, a few things I could tell consumers to please do: ensure if you're on any medications that you have adequate prescriptions. Um, make sure you do have a safety plan just in case something happens. Uh, it looks like this storm is going to be a short-term one, though. Yeah. So hopefully within a day or two, in the event you have an outage, the weather's going to warm up and we should be good to go in a, in a few short days. All right, well, we're going to hope for the best and hopefully you guys won't be too busy with this storm. Thank you very right, much. Thanks for joining us.